Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, back again, of course, with another Paladins video, and we're playing some Betty Today, a character that's recently, as even the last video, I called it sort of secretly overpowered, and I'll get to why over the course of the video, because I feel like a lot of people are finally catching up to how goddamn strong Betty is. It's very dependent on the build, you do have to run a sort of specific thing, and the talent does also play into it, which is why I'm sort of following this up after the other videos. Fiery Disposition, got to bounce both really solid, Controlled Fury is just the one that you want to avoid, and then for the build I have two versions of it but they are very very similar, it's just one card different, level 5 in each. Basically ammo gen, lateral movement, vertical movement and a bunch of extra health, this one has a bit of a heal on the F if you go for got to bounce, and the other one has a bunch of reset on the right click. I used to have the extra radius but I don't really feel like it's worth it over the extra reset and the ammo gen instead. Both setups are really solid, they both work really well, it just depends on the scenario with the team, the map and all that sort of stuff. I can compared her in the Ray video I think to Seven and Vatu and I feel like those two have been sort of more realized as powerful compared to Betty which is why I wanted to make a video on her and not the other two just because of the map and the matchup here I think it makes more sense to go for the movement we've got Storm Bullets, Cat Burglar, Luminary, Unauthorized, Unstable, Fisher, Titan, Fury, Unearing, Smoking Dagger and Mega Potion and then Kronos Nimble. Forgot to buy Death Hands by the way which I'll do in a minute let's get rid of the pip here but I sort of view her at this point as a bit of a different version of Dredge that's kind of not giving her enough credit because she does play quite a bit differently not really using the movement very well so far just trying to get some damage my reload is really really slow just because I haven't got Death Hands going that Q got blocked by the wall I tried to time it but I messed that up just kind of blasting down there Atlas is nearly out let's get rid of the sky there we go just drop in definitely can use your F really aggressively which I don't see people do enough which is one thing I want to point out in this video is that you should use your F and kind of push in every now and again because it does knock people around and can really throw them off. Trust me, if you're up against a Betty who's playing aggressively and is in your face, you're going to notice it. I feel like a lot of people play it just like a Dredge where you're sort of sat back and stationed up with your F because with Dredge you get your sustain from your F. With Betty you get it from sort of jumping around or at least I do with this setup. If you go for Fiery it's a little bit different. Honestly, it's kind of playing messy at this point. That's a Sky Bomb just trying to get away. Hello Tiberius, we're just going to jump over. Oh my god, I don't know how I'm not dead here. I'm playing so messy but it's kind of working out. Get more Death Hands. Without Death Hands too, it is kind of a slow reload. I'd like to see her have some sort of reload buff in her kit because you can get the ammo gem, but that's honestly kind of it. It's going to fly around a bit, drop that there. I didn't do anything. I thought they were actually on the point for some reason. I guess they're just here. It's a Q, bunch of damage on him. We'll jump around. Hello, Vatu. That's sort of what I mean with pushing aggressively. My god, my accuracy there. Always find myself messing up the F when I haven't played it in a little minute because you do kind of want to aim up and down depending on what sort of movement you want to get because it does change. Another thing that I think people are finally capitalizing on is that part of her kit, the sort of F ability and making it a little bit higher or lower depending on how you pop it. So Q in the middle, I'm playing so messy today. But yeah, even with the ammo gen in the setup at level 1, which does give you quite a lot, you do sort of need at least death hands too for this to not feel really, really awkward. We're going to go for the ult again, like I did that a couple seconds ago. We'll just drop down here, pop it on the Atlas, sure push him, maybe get rid of him here. Oh my god, that burst worked. Don't know how much movement here, but there goes the Vatu. The 5 seconds on the cooldown is, even after the nerf, I feel like enough for you to be able to F as much as you need. Sadly, not really much of a combo with the kit that you can do, but it does feel fast enough. I would like to see that though, ammo gen and sort of mobility reset in the kit, but I don't know if she really needs it to be honest. With the extra health and the extra movement, I feel like that's more than enough extra you get from the build. It's going to hide away from that and then jump around and maybe position ourselves on the left. I don't know, Khan's actually doing quite well playing aggressively. That's a con with the banish, Pip with the ult. Okay, it's going to jump away. The timer on that is a little bit weird. There's a bunch of bombs. As you can see, the ammo gen there coming in kind of nice. There goes Atlas. Khan with the ult. Finish off the pip. Yeah, he definitely knows what he's doing. That Khan's actually really, really solid. That's a Vatu ult, but we managed to dodge it. Left click, right click, Q just there on the top. As you can see, Betty is just kind of a more chaotic dredge a lot of the time, at least the way I play her. Get a reload in, get rid of the Tiberius. If you want the extra damage or if you're up against a bunch of tanks, you want Fiery, but I find myself playing God of Bounce a little bit more just because I prefer the more movement focused way of playing her. We're just going to go all the way around, tap the sky. <laughs> it's kind of toxic to just fly around like that. Turbo reload in, left click, right click, sky is out. It's so easy to deal with the damage after they buffed her because, yeah, they actually put her damage up since the last time I think I made a video and that definitely feels, you know, noticeable to me at least. I feel like I notice it specifically when I'm playing aggressively and like really pushing up on someone that extra like 50 damage or whatever it was when you're hitting somebody over like two or three shots and you're rushing them it's really quite noticeable finished off our chronos here and also got a little bit of damage reduction i don't know if i really bother with the nimble on betty that much just because you have the f up so often you don't really need it would like to see some like f reset with the right click trying to get the atlas off the point but it's kind of tough he's actually kind of sticky on here we'll throw the q at the back that's a really big jazz ultimate nice we'll push on the pip maybe maybe just get rid of the sky instead and try and keep him in spawn Tiberius is running in, left click, right click down there, big damage. If I can just keep Pip away, that's honestly good enough for me. Left click, right click, that got caught. 
Throw a Q down there. Did that actually land? No, it got cut by the Atlas Wall. Threw the Q there and it actually gave me the cooldown back after it got stuck in the Atlas Wall. That's kind of weird. I've been seeing a lot of Atlas. I don't really know why that is. We're going to just super aggressively push on the Pippi. Hit me with the ult. I don't know really what I meant to do there. I feel like we were kind of shredding him in this one, but we're actually even. Jesus Christ, I got bursted there by Tiberius. We'll left click, right click in the middle. Kind of got rid of Tiberius, I think. We'll just push in on the Pip. I've not got my F up here, so I think I'm dead. I tried to take him out with me. I don't know why I'm a visit really going after him. That's the sky going for the ult. I feel like I really need to play the point or else we just do not have enough damage on it. There's a big hit in the middle. Left click, right click on the Atlas. Never mind. There's some just F bounces on him. What am I doing? Got rid of the Atlas. Throw the Q over there. I don't know what the Strix is aiming at. He's definitely the one playing the weirdest at the moment on our side. Left click, right click over there. Big damage on him. We're going to push in on the sky. She's already out. Vatu got rid of our Strix. Pip ulted the Khan. I'm pretty sure this is over here. We'll get a reload in. Try and do something. Maybe hold him off a little bit, but I don't think we've really got much of a chance here. Maybe get rid of the Atlas. There we go. That worked. Sadly, it does seem to be over here, though, a little bit too there. I don't think we can even get that many points if we turboed it. There goes Vatu. If I can just chase him down. Don't know really what he was doing there. The F does deal more damage than before, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe I'm misremembering that, but feels like it dealt more than I remember in the early days of Betty. And overall, though, I feel like she's just sort of come to fruition recently and has really been sort of you know, played properly as like a damage aggressive blaster character. I don't know how to probably put into words what I mean, but shoutouts to their Sky. Fantastic match there though for Betty, 15, 428k. Super happy with that. Everyone else I did a really good job except for the streak. So I said earlier, oh, bit of a weak link in that one. Fantastic match there for sure. Their Atlas played a little bit weird. He has 436 seconds on the point, but on a single kill, very little damage output. Although he was, like I said, super sticky there on the point. I can't play the objective quite a bit, but was also pushing up maybe a little bit more than he should have. But he did a really good job. I can't really give him any crap for it. I feel like he kind of had to in that match because it was a little bit weird. All right, well, for game two, going to go for the same thing here on a Siege Shatter Desert. Shouts to our generals, by the way. We've got an Impulse, Cassie, Tigrans, Fury, Gods, Thayer, then we're up against Snow Globe, Flux Generator, Kester called Heroism, and another Tiberius, although that uh, one isn't here just yet. I don't know what's going on. This might be a bit of a rough one. we got a Luminary on our generals, by the way. The Tiberius, I don't know if he's here just yet, but I think that one was here, and then DC, I'm not really sure, but the team comp is all damage flank and then a dealer, but that could be fine. I think it might just be over because of the AFK. We'll see. When it's a casual siege, it doesn't really matter that much the team comp. As long as you've got one healer, I feel like you can get away without having a tank, but without having a team member entirely and then no tank, it's going to be really tough. You can win a 4v5 if you have like a normal sort of comp, one of each. Just trying to blast away here, keep the Ruckus maybe off the point, but there is just healing for way too much. There goes the EV. Nice. We'll see if we can help out our Genos here. Don't know why I bothered firing that right click into him, but he is out. The extra damage there probably saved our Genos's cheeks. The buffs too, Betty, and I'm actually kind of surprised she even got them. They've honestly made a pretty big difference too. I feel like she's significantly more powerful than before. Did just waste the ultimate, but I feel like over the update she's been getting, it's just sort of added up and at the point where she's at now, she is significantly better than I think people realize. Calling her underrated, I don't know if that's really applicable because like I said, people have finally sort of caught up to how good she is after the buff she's had, but I don't know why it took this long for people to kind of realize. I feel like she's still sort of up and coming more so than the other characters, like I said, like Seven and Vatu, but don't know if that's the proper way to explain what I mean, but hopefully I got my point across. There goes the Eevee. I'm just sort of sitting back, blasting, flying around a little bit. Not as movement focused as I usually would be, I think, on her, but it's working out. We don't have a member. Tiberius is missing, but we actually still got the cap there. Ruckus with the ult. Tiberius is obviously gone. Left click, right click. I forget how goddamn fast that Ruckus damage adds up. I always try and peek and get some damage on him, and then I just get shredded with throwing some long range shots here. Left click, right click on him. Really, I'm just trying to stack up the damage over the course of this match, although the Ruckus is is really only tickling me at this sort of range. We can just kind of ignore him and then pop an F every now and again, especially with the Genos heals. Just throwing over some more big hits, but uh, Tiberius is just kind of running in and feeling them. I wish the bot was a little bit better, especially on certain maps. Whoa, that was a weird bug. Um, yeah, it kind of just runs in and dies a lot of the time. Eevee, dead. She's done that play a couple times now. We'll throw the Q on. Pop the F, move around a little bit left. Click right click over. Did used to run a little bit of extra vertical movement on the F, and I feel like in some maps it can be useful. So I would recommend if you are going to play like a crap ton of Betty, make another version of that with a little bit more movement in it. Just because in some maps like this one, you might actually appreciate it. We'll just blast her here. Hello. I guess she wasn't expecting us to be right behind. That's a double X with the ult. Didn't get rid of us there. Thought I was going to be the threshold. I always overestimate how much health I have when that Lex ult is going off. We'll jump over on the Ruckus. I don't know if I really want to push in because that Tiberius is scaring me a little bit. There goes the EVA again. Got to give massive props to our Genos here. The man is putting in work as a solo healer. Genos is going to often have a bit of a hard time, but with a team like this, they can do fine because yeah, tank and like he's definitely up to the task. Genos ult there did just miss by a little bit, although he did go for it. Props to him. We'll pop the F, move around a bit. I think we're going to be able to push in here with the Lilith ult on, especially with the Ruckus there as well. It's going to be the 1-1 one, one that was 0 due for some reason. There goes Lex in the slow-mo. All right, let's keep it going. I went for Death Hands 2. I could have gone for 3, but I feel like it wasn't really worth it over like the extra Kronos and stuff. Don't know where that EV is. We're just going to throw the Q over. 
I feel like I probably should have grabbed Haven, but I wanted to save up and maybe get Chronos 3 or Death Fancy, depending on what I feel like I need, the movement or the reload speed. I'm way too pushed up here. Didn't get too punished for it. We're actually going to be able to get out. I really don't know how I'm not dead. We're just throwing some stuff in case that legs pushes. I don't know how I got out. Shirt's again though to that freaking Genos damage on him. Is he out? We're trying to catch him if he runs left. Weird bounces today for some reason. Tyrus is going in here with the ult. We're going to push in on the try and get rid of her because she is their only source of healing. There we go. Let's get rid of the Ruckus here as well. Ammo gen, kind of nice. We get that one reload in. One more. That'll do it. Definitely left that one kind of close. 99%. Didn't realize it was ticking so quick. They don't have recovery mechanic, but that felt like it charged like turbo fast. Bex is running in here, going for the ult. I don't think he's a bot, but he's playing kind of weird. I don't really know what's going on with him. If he is a bot and it's a 4v4, then... That would be kind of great, actually, because it's been a while since I've had one of those. Let's get rid of the Lex here. Not a Lex. It's a Ruckus. My freaking brain is fried. Damage here on the other. Try and finish her off. Blast on both sides. It's one combo I like to do a lot with electric bike. Because throw one left, throw one right. It's a pain in the ass to try and dodge it. You basically just cover them with explosions. Definitely seen a lot of other people do that same combo. It works insanely well. It's just getting, like, secure damage on someone. We'll throw the Q kind of pushed up here to stop them from going in too heavy. I'm trying to get out of the anti-heal zone for, like, a little bit. Just so the Jones can get some heals to us. But it is kind of tough. I always forget you can sit on this little bit here throw a q down he's gonna try and get rid of us some damage on him i don't know how i didn't burst him faster there. he's gonna run into it and get me the kill anyway that was definitely a rare one we'll throw the q in left click right click kind of forward again just trying to cover as much radius as possible in like just pure damage output there goes our general sadly got rid of the tiberius if we get a lucky bomb on him there we'll throw the q just to maybe help the point out a bit hello ev there goes the ev put up another f the extra healing is definitely helping out on that which is why i went for it i was trying to cover both in this video but it just made way too much sense here to go for the f setup again i probably should have gone for fire in the first one and then maybe show it off as well but I think that's what I did the last video on actually. Pop the F, go in on the point, just blast the Rackers, clear that shield nearly. My man is definitely tanky though. There we go, he is eventually gone. Maybe get rid of the EV2, sick. Tyrus is ulting on me, don't know what I'm doing. Drop a Q on us, see if we can get in with the same awkward ass play. It kind of worked, Cassie is shredding here. Uh, Tyrus is back, so it is actually a full on 5v5. Eevee's going in with like an ult play there, that was a little bit weird. We'll get a turbo reload, throw that Q just there. If I got that on the exact spot I wanted to, I'd be kind of proud of myself, but I think I mess up a little bit. That slow is brutal more damage on her she is out i'm trying to keep the overtime whilst also like moving around a little bit it's kind of tough left click right click there and if i should really be focusing him i don't have fiery so it feels like it's kind of a waste that's going to be the 2-2 this has been such a great game so far i'm finally sort of warmed up and i'm kind of regretting my decision of god of bounds it has worked out really well because obviously the general is a solo healer here and he's having to heal the entire team but He's doing such a good job that I probably could have gotten away for going for like a more damage focused thing. Wasn't sure how good of a job he was going to do, so obviously I didn't want to risk it, but you know, now that I've seen how much effort he's actually putting in, I probably should have gone for the extra damage side of things. See if we can get rid of the lure here, that would be kind of huge. I guess we can push in on her right. Yep, there we go, pop another F. Tiberius is just here. My god, that is so awkward, but we got it. 3-2 I think here, if we can just hold him off. I'm going to throw that Q early. I don't think they're going to push around this side anyway, but thought we had that guaranteed there, but we actually just got like completely counter wiped. Props to him. I was the first one to die there. I wasn't expecting them to actually regroup. Let's go for the ult just to get some movement heal up a little bit. We'll throw that directly at the point. That might get them off it. Maybe they'll realize. Yeah, there we go. That bought us a little bit of time. We're just going to try and touch it. I don't know how that didn't get a trigger, but we're out. Our Q does stick around for a little bit, so I was hoping maybe that would pick up someone. There goes the Ruckus. It worked. I love the fact the Q stays around. It's a little bit inconsistent. I don't know if it's fair, but having a bit of a hard time here deciding between Veteran and Nimble. I feel like that's a thing I do often on Betty is, you know, have a hard time picking up if I want to get Nimble or not. Because you do have that F so often, you don't really need it if you go for the talent. But when you're just walking around and you're not really popping it, it can be kind of slow. You had to pop some Evs and dance back a little bit. I think I need to up my sensitivity a little bit again, though, because whenever I play characters like Betty, where I'm doing that sort of F bounce thing, feel maybe a little bit slower than I'd like for my mouse just the way I run at the moment that is Lex on the left side we'll see if we can get some damage on him there unlucky bounces that's Evie going in with the ult she is not out can I finish her off with one more just about to push in on the Lex but he already got cleared now my F's down I'm in a bit of a bad spot more damage on him though that fracas is so tanky fiery would have made such a big difference I feel like but I'm gonna have to step on it here though because or else it is a defeat we're gonna dance around a little bit do I go for the ult I'm gonna die if I try and pop it on I will throw the Q hide a sec I'm on 60 goddamn health gels with the heal left click right click over there the just jumping in the middle for some reason damage on them here we are kind of folding them off it seems like it's going to go the full distance Rucker seems to just be sitting back a lot and taking way more damage than he's outputting but he is a tank so i guess it's fine decided to go for veteran but i'd love to hear from you guys in the comments that play a ton of betty would you go for veteran here would you go for nimble i honestly would love to hear from you if you play like a lot of when you call like your main sort of character you've got like a significantly higher level than me just from playing yeah, let me know. Personally, I went for Veteran just for the tankiness, because 2.7k here is kind of nice, especially when I'm dueling with a Ruckus like this, but maybe the extra sort of 
speed would have been useful i don't know gonna go for the old bit of a cheeky spot for it to be honest we'll just blast him I'm trying to just get rid of the wreckers here even though lurth is up i feel like getting rid of him is really really important Eevee is also out because i landed the shot lurth is playing really aggressively to be honest we're gonna chase her here got rid of the lex by accident don't know how that one happened damage there on the tiberius we'll push in on them i don't know if i should go in here this is kind of risky my god i messed that up but maybe we can get one more hit on him to finish him off He's still up. Ruckus is on left side. Tried to call it. They're all going in. He's going for the ult. We'll dance around. Finished him off. That might be kind of huge. Left click, right click there. Kind of on the point. Lith here is on it. We're going to chase her down. My god, the movement she gets from that is kind of crazy. Missed the shots, but we are going to just chase her down to finish her off. And there we go. There is the victory. I think that last counter play made a huge difference. Another really, really good showcase there for Betty. And I think... Most of the gameplay sort of spoke for itself in both of the games today. I feel like I played super, super messy there, but that is kind of the ideal way to play. Betty, to be honest, I'm happy she got the buffs, but to be honest, I don't know if she really needed them. 18-4, again, 170k, just massive there. Cassie did a fantastic job. Tiberius was AFK, but when he came back, he did fine. Genos doing work. Andro, a bit awkward again, which is fine because I feel like gave him a bit of an experience of a little bit more of a semi-serious game. It definitely wasn't Giga Tryhard or anything, but... It was definitely a good match, at least, for their side. Eevee and Lurk having a bit of a hard time. Tiberius put in work, although also played a bit awkward. Lurth, definitely the star of the show there, for sure. A Lurth who knew exactly what she was doing. 200k is massive. And Ruckus played a bit weird, but did do his job as a tank. A bit tough for him because he was a solo tank there. I think if they had another one, it would have been way, way more difficult. But Betty good showcase for Betty. Don't have too much else I can add here at the end. She's definitely a goddamn strong character at the moment. And honestly, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys all really, really soon. And as always, stay frosty.